Hey, what's up guys? My name is the number one Pred, and today what I'll be bringing you guys in today's gameplay for today's video is a nuked out on the map meltdown. Playing a bit of free for all. For, don't, for those who don't know what the nuked out is, considering a lot of people have started playing COD Ghosts as their first COD, which probably isn't the best move to be honest, but what a nuked out is basically is a nuclear medal on free for all. And that means you can't choke anything. As soon as you get your first kill, you have to continue a whole streak until the end of the game and as you guys know free for all limit is up to 30 and that is the amount of kills for a nuked out so there's no room for error one bit and this took a lot of grinding to get so all you know like ratings and comments are appreciated on this video let's try and reach 40 likes on this video that'd be awesome if you guys could help me reach that but today what I want to talk to you guys about in today's commentary topic is the Call of Duty camos and a good example of this is the uh, camo I'm using in the gameplay and this is the camo for those who know what it's called is a is the dragon camo from Black Ops 2 as you guys know it was one of the first DLC drops in terms of camos and I'm not even gonna lie I used to be a big suck up for the uh, Call of Duty Go uh, not Ghost Black Ops 2 camos I used to literally buy pretty much all of them to be honest uh, they were really really good camos and it, it kind of blows the Call of Duty Ghost camos out of the water I'm pretty sure like 19 9 or 98 percent of them depends on how many people watching it so I can't really bother to go into statistics on that but I'm going to say almost all of you probably would agree that Black Ops 2 camos there's just no words can explain how much better they are than Call of Duty Ghost camos it's just even even one of the earlier camos of Black Ops 2 and these as I said the Dragon camo is one of the first uh, Black Ops 2 camo DLC drops and it's way better than the uh, latest uh, Call of Duty Ghost DLC drop in terms of camos. And the, the recent camos for Call of Duty Ghost dropped uh, this Tuesday, earlier this week. And uh, they were like Nebula, uh, Abstract, Tattoo, Leopard, I don't know all of them. Um, I don't really care, to be honest. Ones like Skulls as well. And uh, it, there were six of them in here. I think I named five, but there you go. And none of them aren't even anything special. I think the leopard's the best out of all of them because it's like a more of a skin pack and leopard. Leopard obviously has that, that sort of dotty orangey, not orangey. You, you guys know what I know, know what a leopard looks like. Surely I can't really bother to explain it. And uh, yeah, that's the best one out of all of them. And that isn't even that great to be honest. I mean, it's okay, it's decent, I guess, but it's not amazing. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, if I had money on Microsoft points account I probably would have brought that camo but nothing else because none of them stood out and what I'm trying to say here is every Black Ops 2 camo or most of them that came out apart from the recent ones I mean the only recent one I've bought is the 115 that's only because I don't have any uh, what's it Microsoft points or whatever they are now it's money on your account but they were Microsoft points anyways uh, those are the only things I buy now uh, that's the only camo I bought but uh, if I had money, then I would be buying a lot more camos because uh, even Black Ops 2 are making better camos than Cobb Ghosts, and they're not even in its. It, the game's not even in its prime. It's not even in its prime. Not as actually. Yeah, let me let me correct myself. More people are playing Black Ops 2 than Cobb Ghosts, and that's saying something. And that's saying how desperate Infinity Ward are now to try and you know bring in some income, bring in some revenue for the shit game they've produced. They're trying to bring out camos, and you know what? They're getting to the point where they're not even telling us that they're bringing camos out. Not even bringing in the hype. They're just going to chuck it out in a, a DLC drop package and not tell anyone. That just shows how pathetic that really is. And let me just say again, the camos aren't even that great. And I think they already know that there's nothing to hype up about them because they're nothing special. And this dragon camo here is so much better than the, uh, let's say the weed camo in my opinion and the weed camo in my opinion is the best uh, camo and cog ghosts in terms of vibrance and you know just all turn brightness and detail um, but even this camo here and this isn't even one of the best ones on black ops 2 but sure it's freaking amazing and it's way better than the weed camo in my opinion but yeah that's basically it for the video let me know what you guys think uh, about the commentary topic and whether you guys agree with me or not i'm pretty sure most of you guys do Anyways guys, it's the number one pred and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.